Now we're currently halfway through the new car reveals for the new F1 2023 season and in this video today we are going to showcase those five cars so far. As you can see car number one is going to be the car that we are driving here today and that is the MoneyGram Haas car which I think actually looks awesome. It looks like last year's car from the top and front view but then from the side it actually looks like a brand new car. You can see this is actually a pretty insane livery. I quite like it personally. I love the black. It's going to be a common theme, you know, seeing the exposed carbon fiber this year for weight saving reasons. But yeah, I love it. I think it's a really, really awesome car and an upgrade on last year's design. Car number two is going to be the Williams, which of course has had a bit of a change this year. The actual liveries are more or less the same, but the big change is they're using matte paint this year, which of course is for weight saving reasons. To be fair, this year's car has a bit more blue in it than last year's one, which I'm happy about. So yeah, big fan also of the new wheels, the little blue details on there looking really nice. We now move to car number three, and this is a bit of a controversial one. I quite like it. I'm a big fan of the new Alfa Tauri. I think it's actually an upgrade. I love the bits of red. I think it really helps break up the livery and gives it something different rather than just a kind of monochrome, dark and light livery. Some people don't like it. I can see why the red is a bit too much if you want to make that case, but I love the wheels, the design they've gone for. And like I said, I like the red bits. I think it helps break it up. Nick DeVries and Sonoda driving this car. So yeah, big fan of this one. And it's now time for what I think is probably the most popular car so far, and that is the new Alfa Romeo, which this year has gone dark mode. As you can see, the red and the black, very, very awesome new title sponsor, and I love this design. The new wheels, just entirely red, and the whole dark mode theme is just awesome, man. I love this car and I'm a big, big fan of it. It looks insane from every single angle. And I mean, you just can't hate it. It just works. Everything about this livery works. All the sponsors work well, everything nicely in place. This is definitely one of the, the top three liveries, I think, of the season. Even without having seen the next five cars, I think this will still be in the top three. And last but not least, we go to a car which hasn't changed, and that is the Red Bull RB19, which essentially has the same livery, but with some new sponsors and some minor minor revisions and tweaks the only big change really the only change i'd say that's worth noting is probably the rear wing which now is completely blacked out whereas last year it had a bit of red on it if we look at the old version you can see us for comparison purposes you can see the red on the rear wing the new one doesn't have that that's literally the only visual change to the livery the rest of it is entirely unchanged and as for the rest of the grid we still have some 2022 liveries on there some really awesome cars in this form of the ferrari and the mercedes especially we've got the alpine the mclaren and the aston martin still unchanged but today the mclaren and the aston martin have been revealed so two more cars will be shown to the world by this evening anyway let's get into a race and let's test out the new Haas. Right then, let's get into it. Let's see how this race goes. Hopefully, we can make things work. The lights are on here at Silverstone. Eight laps. And run away. Nice clean start. We're going to be a little bit cautious on this race start as the AI are far from clean, let's say. As you can see, cars are off everywhere. So, just making sure we, we get through that first sequence and then we can start to really go for it to make a move on this Alpine already here as Alonso is going pretty gingerly through the first couple of corners so we're going to make the move and move it to P13 we're going to get a nice little run here hopefully on other cars as we head down towards so the start of sector 2 looks like it's one of the Alfa Romeo's first and then our teammate so we're going to get some 2023 preview and early action here already as we get stuck in with the new liveries and the new cars Oh, couple of cars off there, including the Alfa Romeo. So we're going to take those places and move into P11. So my place is gained already. Our teammate is next ahead as she makes a move on, I think, Lewis Hamilton there in the Mercedes. Lewis going pretty slow. We're going to get the run. We're going to by some of our teammate here, but I'm just going to yield. And we'll go through. There we go. Magnussen with a mistake. And that is us into P9 already. So excellent start I'm going to try and win this race I don't think that's impossible I definitely think that's on the table as an option as I'm expecting to have pretty decent pace here oh backwards Ferrari that's another place gained for us happy days so that gives us a top 8 position heading on to lap 2 as we now chase down one of the Alpines I'm guessing it'll be Esteban Ocon as we get the run through 
one and two. We're going to try and stick one around the outside of turn three. Actually, no, it's one of the Williams. I thought it was an Alpine, but it's actually Albon up in P7. And stays ahead in the new Williams livery. So uh, we're going to have to try and get back past there. A bit of a surprise. I genuinely thought that was Ocon. I, I didn't think I'd see a Williams this high up. But Albon having a fantastic race so far. Um, we're going to have to try and get past as we make our way through Brooklyn's and Luffield. Nice exit there out of the hairpin as we now head down the old pit straight. We'll definitely get a chance through Cops. The old turn one. Down our gear as we get the run. And we just keep it in track limits. And send it right on the outside. And move into the top seven. But we're now going to get the DRS so we can start to use it. And I think this is Carlos Sainz ahead of us as we head through turn one. We're going to get the run and slip one through. Muscle move there. Although Carlos back up the inside. Got to leave the space. And there we go. We get the move done. We're ahead. We now race on as we open the DRS for the first time this race. Also, Russell ahead doing a pretty good job of making his car nice and wide. The Merck seems to have no straight line speed, so you can see the Alfa Romeo goes straight through. Oh, we have to avoid that. That was close. Signs looking to go through here. I'm just leaving space. Never mind. We'll take the uh, the higher ground here and just cut across the chicane. Let's try and get signs if we can. The RS open. And make that move. There we go. Now that's P6 locked in. We can now try to hopefully get Russell in the Mercedes. Right, let's see. We might get the run here. Flat out through one, flat out through two. Oh, yes. It's easy. Easy as you like. Uh, so we lose more cars, more DNFs. Let's try and get this Alfa Romeo then. This is going to be the battle this race, I think. Battle for P4. We'll see if we can try and get Bottas. And try and nab that fourth place finish away from him. P3 also not too far up the road. I can just about see in the distance. I think it's a McLaren. Or an Alpine, I can't quite tell. Either way, there's racing to be done as we have a moment there through Luff. We'll get the power down a bit too early. Luckily, we're not going to be able to pressure off the Merc because we know it has no straight line speed. So we we'll just crack on and do our thing as we absolutely breeze through Cops. And that's going to bring us right within striking distance of the Alfa Romeo here. The house working very well does it as we now look to get the DRS there we go closing 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 but similar power units so we're not making that much of a difference in terms of straight line speed so we're gonna have to just wait a little bit longer here to get past the Alfa Romeo and it's McLaren I think in P3 so there's a podium on the cards in this race if we can hopefully get these two moves done just taking over half race distance, four laps to go. Let's see, gonna get the run here on Valtteri. Not quite, he just defends the inside a little bit. Wasn't quite able to get the car settled for the braking zone. Trying to get the car back through there, but struggling for mechanical grip. The eyes open, but we're too far back here right now, so we're not gonna be able to get by. Might get a chance though into Cops, as we know we're pretty strong through there. Wide through Luffel. Trying to get the exit. Let's see, now this should be our best chance to pass. Valtteri Bottas. Yep. Oh, just cuts across at the last second. I have to cut back to the other line. Do I want to go for this? No, I don't. Not... I don't trust that AI on the set of calls so enough to go for that move, so we're going to have to just watch out. But this now surely will be our best chance with the DRS. Come on. Come on. Gaining. Gaining. Trying to have a look there, but Bottas still holds on. Surprisingly enough, we are starting to really catch this McLaren now, though. So it's about to become a three-way fight. Bottas, I think, will have DRS. 
so that's going to make things a bit harder to overtake. We're nice and close here though, we might actually get our chance now though through turn one and two. Just got him at the right time to not lose momentum. Side by side. Trying to go for it, Bottas is there. Inside line. And there we go. We've got it. Lovely. Nice and close through here. Just going to try and set up the exit if I can. Here we go then. We're going to get the DRS on the McLaren as we look to make the move for the podium. That is actually Daniel Ricciardo as we got the inside into Stowe. And that is P3 for us with two laps to go. We'll see if we can catch up to the front two. But let's push on now and see what kind of pace we've got. Can we set a decent lap here? Here we go then, last half of the race into sector three. Currently on for a personal best, although it hasn't been a clean lap by any means. But anyway, we're gonna round this one out and finish on the podium. I believe behind a Red Bull 1-2 as the fireworks go off at Silverstone. And we have a horrible screen freeze there to close things out as the FPS drops, but there we go. Up to the line and job done. Podium at Silverstone. We'll take that. And I think Hass will take that as well, to be fair. Personal best, 32.9 on the last lap. And there you go, that is it for the race at Silverstone. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll leave a link down below to the car liveries, guys, and the car itself. So go check those out. And yeah, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. More car launches on the way. So stay tuned to the channel and more F1 2023 related content on here as always. A big shout out to the members for supporting the channel. Check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and let's go back from me.